Yeah, head down. Yeah, bury that nose. Just snap the hand. Yeah, bury that nose. The last two years we kind of made progress, um, but last year didn't end like we wanted it to, obviously. Uh, this year we have um, a big big senior class with a lot of leadership, so uh, it's, it's now our number for this year. Last season, you know, we weren't doing so hot, so it was easy to uh, point our finger at each other. But, you know, hopefully this season we can turn things around. We've got a lot of seniors, we're going to have a lot of mature guys. Everybody's really excited. I mean, we had, we had a good fall, I think, and everybody's just ready to get going and sort of jump in, dive in, and start playing the great competition we're set to play. Definitely, this is definitely going to be a good year. I think that we can definitely tell it's different than last year. I think we just got more pieces that we added, and we got some new freshmen that are pretty good and are going to take a big role for us. And we also, we just have a lot of seniors, and they're just going to step up like they always do. Well, we've made progress every year we've been in Conference USA, and we knew it was going to be a process. And I'm just really happy, and our coaches are happy, for the players that, you know, that have stuck it out through the program, you know, and been here and, and kind of learned, you know, on the fly, so to speak, uh, because now we're getting rewarded. Uh, we feel like we got a chance to get rewarded with this year with this group of guys. And just really proud of the way that they've matured, the way they've gotten better as baseball players and, and the type of people that they are. So just really excited about getting a chance to compete against a great schedule and a chance to be able to challenge ourselves against some of the elite programs in the country. It's been you know four years for a lot of the seniors, uh, two years from others, you know, you got some some transfers and you know we all got the same goal and uh, you know it's a team goal and Hopefully we can, uh, you know, make this this program proud again. I don't, I don't know if you see that many people ever come through together and stick through the whole thing together, and that that's what we've had. And uh, I think that's big for the team. Uh, you see a lot of good teams have a lot of seniors and juniors and upperclassmen that sort of take over the role of being leaders and sort of just leading the underclassmen just to just show them like how we're going to do things. Martin Luther King said, um, "The ultimate measure of a man is not." where he stands during comfort, um, but where he stands during um, challenges and controversy. So that's where we've been. Uh, we, we've had a lot of challenges and controversy the last couple of years, um, but you can't grow um, unless you go through those things. Great opportunity here. Let it fly. Play hard, play fast, play all time. Nice and relaxed and get at it. Everybody be the same. Yeah, yeah. Everybody be the same. Nice and lose. The game. Nice and lose fun. and attack the game. My energy is have fun. Matter Nation for the first time in 2017. A very pleasant Tuesday afternoon to you. Thanks for tuning in on this gorgeous night, about an hour and a half south of Charlotte. We have found Founders Park here in Columbia, South Carolina, home to the fourth ranked South Carolina Gamecocks as the 49ers hit the road for the first time here in the young season. We had an opportunity. We were really competitive. You know, we got uh, in a really close game. We got first and third down a run with our three and four hole hitters up. And, and you know, that's when you're trying to manage a game, that's what you're trying to get to. And, and we weren't successful in those two at bats, but, but the guys were locked in and we were competing. Uh, there's no moral victories here. There never has been. Uh, but we got a chance to kind of measure ourselves. We got a chance to kind of see where we are at. We're going to play a lot of good teams, and we're going to expect to do well against them. And you know, we ended up losing that game, but we had a good chance to win. So I feel like you know that's that's our ex expectations. We, you know, we're expecting to beat those teams if they're ranked, if they're not ranked. We know they're a good team. We're going to come in. We're not going to be afraid. We're going to do our jobs. These are the guys you want up. First pitch, swan and ground ball, base hit right side. That's going to get into right field for a base hit. Zach Smith's going to round third. The throw going to be cut off. First and third, tying run 90 feet away here in the ninth. Um, so it was a good experience. Um, we did, we're definitely going to grow from that, learn from it, and be better in the future. We lost five to four, and really it was just one pitch that kind of changed the game, and we should have. I mean, like I said, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but we should have won that game, I think. And you know, that's a it's a big confidence booster, and you definitely, 
as a team, you realize that, hey, like, you know, we can do this, man. Like, there's, there's no one too big out there. This year it's a little bit different. Um, we're not just trying to compete and, and play around with them. We're trying to, we're, we go and play big teams like that to beat them. And uh, that, that's the mindset this year. Playing in a stadium like that, playing a team like that. Um, our goal is to make a regional, super regional in the College World Series. So uh, playing a team like that is definitely going to help um, down the road. You know, we feel like that we've got a chance to go and win games against top 10 teams on the road. And, and uh, it got a chance for, for us to kind of see where we were at. Uh, and make adjustments and try to be better the next time out. Yeah, that, that was a good game. Uh, sort of calm myself down from all the adrenaline that I had and really just told myself to focus in and just do what I can do to help the team out and that ended up being a big part of it. 2-1 pitch, Swan and lifted out into left, going back is Brett Kinneman, back to the track, to the wall, looks up, it's gone! Zach Jarrett with a two-run homer to left, the Niners are on top, 4-3. to three. You know, Zach Jarrett, like I said, a senior, we, we expect him to perform those clutch situations. Zach Jarrett had a big clutch two-run home run, man. Our pitchers is the real storyline this year. Coach Doty has done a great job with them, and our pitchers are giving us a chance to win every single game. That's the thing. If our pitchers hang in there um, and give us a chance to win, then we have confidence in our offense to scratch runs across and, and give us a chance to win. We, uh, it was funny because before the game we had been talking about how the wind was blowing in from right and everything. And, and he ends up hitting a double off the wall to get us ahead and everything, which was awesome. So that, that was big for him to come up in that uh, position. Hammered into right, going back is Deathridge to the track, to the wall, sticks his glove up and makes the grab. No, he didn't, the ball fell down. Two run double for Zach Smith. Six five niners. That ball was absolutely smoked out into right. Well, the thing is, not being very good the last two years, we've had to play uphill um, a lot the last two years. So now this year, well, since we have so many juniors and seniors, um, it, it doesn't really surprise us being down early in the game, late in the game, middle of the game. It doesn't matter to us. We have the same mindset, and there's no quitting this team. So we're going to grind it out late in games and, and make a run no matter what the score is. Throw coming to the plate in time. They've got him nailed. First pitch, Swan has popped up out into shallow center, restarted back. Now he comes in, he's there, he's got it, and the Niners have knocked off the sixth ranked North Carolina Wolfpack, six to five here in Raleigh. Back to the front, boys. We're here to stay. Let's, All right, let's do it. Nine, two, three. One, two, three. We know that we had a tough schedule coming in. We knew that there were preseason picks to make a regional, so we knew it wasn't going to be easy. You know, we, we look forward to the challenge every single weekend series. Welcome to another season of Charlotte Baseball here at Robert and Miriam Hayes Stadium as Coach Lauren Hibbs suits up for his 25th season with the 49ers. Enjoy the game. Let's be the best fastball hitting team in the country. I think we're capable of doing that. I'm serious. Uh, we got to be on time for fastball the whole time through. Nine, nine, three. One, two, three. Nine, but you know, pitching on Friday, it's it's going to be a dog fight, especially with a team like Xavier. They had that good left in throw. So I was just you know trying to compete, trying to do my best to you know not give up any runs, and, and I didn't. So I felt like I put my team in a good position to win, and you know we came through clutch. At the level that we're playing at now. Your Friday games are going to be against starting pitchers that are going to be pros. And a lot of the guys that we're facing are going to pitch in the major leagues. So we have to match that. Colton Laws was tremendous on the mound for us and, and was able to match their starting pitcher. Swung on and miss. Victim number seven. Therefore, Colton Laws, the righty from Faith, North Carolina, wheeling and dealing. 
But we know Colton Law is going gonna, is gonna to give us a chance to win every single time he steps on the mound. He's thrown for us unreal every outing he's been out, and we just we couldn't really get anything going against their pitcher for some reason. And it's it was disappointing for us because as an offense, we want to be able to uh, score runs and give Colton that run support. But I mean, he was able to hold it down, and we were able to uh, scratch a couple of crawls, which was good. He's due for a hit as this one's going to be swung on, hit off the end of the bat, and that one's going to get down. Jackson Mims getting away. He will come across the score back to back doubles for the 49ers. Mims, Nick Team, putting Charlotte up 2 to 0 here in the eighth. It was a tough pitch. Probably really shouldn't have swung at it, but I did and uh, got lucky. You know, it's a big field. As long as you put it in play, something can happen. Number 36, Jonah Hatton will come to the ball game to reliever for the 49ers as he is in relief of Colton Law, Jonah Patton. Uh, I was nervous, but I got a lot of confidence in Jonah. Jonah's my boy. Yeah, Jonah's our guy. Uh, he, he's got a couple screws loose upstairs, but that's what you want towards the end of games. Here's the 0-2 pitch from Jonah Patton. That's your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Jonah Patton gets a pair of strikeouts and strands the tying run at third base for Xavier. 49ers improve to 8-2 on the season. If we scratch a couple late in games, then, then, then be ready for the offense the next day. Because um, when we're rolling one through nine, it's going to be hard to stop us. Does that make sense? Round two, let's get after it. Guys, uh, you know that are that are quality players are hitting down at the bottom of your lineup, seven, eight hole, even nine hole. Uh, it gives more length to your lineup, and and you have days where maybe you square up balls and balls find holes like they did on Saturday. Uh, then it ends up being a positive deal against a really good team. This one swung on, and that one's driven out to left center field, a mile high, and it's out of here. Zach Jarrett does it again with another two-run blast for the 49ers. Charlotte now up 6-0 to zero over Xavier. Just just feeling it right now. Been working with Bo, just having just having a simple plan, not really thinking too much into it, just sitting on pitches, just looking for them and being able to attack them. Yeah, I mean, I was feeling pretty good, and my defense also played very well behind me. And also, Zach Smith was it's my first time throwing to Zach Smith, a freshman, and he just did a great job behind the plate, and he just really helps with the running game. So we don't have to worry about that, and you can just lock in. And just a guy that, you know, that, that when he gets on a roll, he can be as good as anybody in our league. Uh, our guys like playing defense behind him, you know, when he's down the strike zone. Uh, I think our catchers have done a good job with him. Both Yeb and Smith have both caught him. I think they've done a good job with him. And again, it's a guy that we can run out there on a Saturday that gives us a chance to be competitive when he's on top of his game. Sometimes you're gonna have both sides doing everything right. And that was one of those days, uh, you know, at home, pitchers kind of set this tone because they're going out there, they get those first three outs, and we're coming in feeling pretty good. And then on the road, you know, the hitters kind of set the tone in the first inning too because we got the first at bat. So it's kind of like, you, like I said earlier, man, like, you know, you rely on both sides to uh, really get you to where you want to be. Strikeout number nine, career high. Now for Josh Macieski. Strikeout number 11, Macieski is just feeling it today.
third game of any series, man, it, it's, it depends on who has more energy that day. And that's something that, that we're still trying to figure out as a team, especially when we win the first two games, is how to not get complacent the third game and just grind through and have a lot of energy that day. And we're gonna figure it out. Um, we kind of let off the gas a little bit against them in the third game and um, kind of let it go a little bit, but, but that's something we're gonna fix uh, shortly in the future. Uh, we're gonna have, I mean, we're gonna have some games like that where we're gonna have to just go back and forth and be able to match them every time. And unfortunately, that they their bats woke up a little bit that day and uh, they started swinging it pretty well. But it was a good sign that we we sort of matched uh, what they were doing at times. And it was also good that we found another way to almost win the game there in the end. And just to be able to keep putting ourselves in good positions like that to have a chance to win the game is the most positive thing. You know, I think this group is, is, is mature to the point where we feel like we got a chance to win. You know, those type of games, even when we get behind and we're playing a little bit uphill. Again, that's an improvement. That's, that's a mental improvement from, from years past. And, and, you know, it really ends up being a, being a positive situation uh, in terms of just guys in the dugout thinking that we got a, an opportunity to be able to be successful. So you come up a little bit short sometimes, uh, but the point is, is that we've been competitive. We've given ourselves a chance to win every single time we've played. Pitch swung on, hit the right field. That one's going to get through. TJ Nickte, he's getting the way. The throw will be to second base. 49ers only down by one. I think playing that early non conference hard schedule that we did really shaped us up to do well in conference. Conference play is kind of like a new season. This year we're rolling. It's now or never this year, so we're, we're going to make a run.